Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon and we are going back into the god awful fireworks factory to complete Sergeant Bird, no, Agent 9's in World World, um, which is the first person shooter, <laughs> which we are all looking forward to, one of the most interesting parts of this game. Uh, to the entrance to the Inworld world is, uh, don't get hit before you enter, is where the rocket was. As we can see, here's his little doorway. wonder if he's going to take a breath when he speaks this time. <laughs> hey Spyro, I'm helping a kid called Handel recover some secret rocket plans the sorceress stole. You know, I'm always ready to kick some Rhinoc booty! <laughs> so energetic. So much like monkey. Oh, you're gonna you, are you gonna walk forward? You're gonna stand there? Cool. Hi, Agent Knight. Behind those doors are some pretty scary ninjas. I bet you could use your sharpshooter skills to take them out. Remember, press the circle button to shoot and use L1 and R1 to dodge left and right. Top tips there from Handel. <laughs> and it will put you automatically into this like first person mode. And it's so friggin' awesome. And look at your hit points and everything. Right now, each hit that we receive will take 33 damage. But once we got the upload, uh, the upgrade for Sparks, the damage limitation, damage limitation, the damage just changed to you only get hit, um, get 25 hit points, hit, get, lose 25 hit points every time you get hit, and then you lose more because you fail at the English language. When you lose Sparks, you are left with one hit point, and then when you get hit with that hit point, you die and have to start again. Uh, there are two parts to this in World World. We get two eggs. Um, the first part is this one. We go right to the back to pick up the egg. But then we have to do the whole level backwards again to get back to the stop. And that's where we get the second egg when we retrace our steps. And it is a fairly lengthy, it is, it, it, as you can see, it's its own episode just for this in World World. It's like the, uh, the skating ones are quite lengthy too. This one is also quite a lengthy in World World. It's one of the most interesting ones though, I'd say, if not the interest, most interesting. Um, another really interesting one is also one with Agent 9. Um, where we also go back into a first person shooter perspective but it's more like an on the rails shooter, more like House of the Dead. So that's really cool. So that'll be later on in the Let's Play in the Dino Mines episode. And I hope you all look forward to that as much as I do because that, that level is really cool. Um, so what we're doing now is just going around, picking up the gems, killing the ninjas with our laser gun and kicking ass in general. I think the, my biggest tip for this is just to take your time with it because it can get a little bit hectic on the way back. It's quite diff tricky. Quite difficult and tricky. Merged into one word. And <laughs> Especially because you get these respawning ninja boxes and some very annoying glitches that mean that enemies can shoot through the walls sometimes. I think I document it here <laughs> in this Let's Play about enemies shooting through the walls like knobheads. But this first run through, when you go through it the first time and get to the end, it's fairly straightforward. And you have no trouble. I know when I was younger, when we talk about nostalgia again, hit in the face with a gun. This was one of the ones I found particularly tricky. There was like this one egg and there was one gem as well in this in World World that I couldn't get. Look at these fucking ninja boxes. God damn! But um we will not fail this time. I think I even get through this without dying, so I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I've come a long, long way, baby. Through the hard times and the day, I have to know the words to this song. I have to learn them like I should. So we're gonna carry on. There's some several, there's several places where we'll get uh, bees as well for uh, health power-ups, and I would if, just avoid them. If, if you can avoid them. Sometimes you can accidentally shoot them and then accidentally pick up their health and they won't respawn again until you go onto the different egg and that is really annoying. But we're okay. We can forgive Spyro Year of the Dragon for doing this shit to us and glitching. They're actually, this is a very, very glitchy in World World, I found. A lot of the times you can see um, the, the computer AI starts running into walls as well. I think I cut it out in this one where I had a lot of the AI running into walls because I did cut out like a good two minutes of footage in this because I was just 
completely stuck on one corridor and couldn't get through because there's so many enemies. And they did start glitching against the wall. It's so annoying. Well, it's not that annoying because they don't come after you, but it's just weird. I think they would have got rid of the bugs. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely, in terms of bugginess, Agent 9 is <laughs> number one in this game. He, he gets an egg we already have, and he makes enemies run against the walls a lot. And makes them shoot through walls as well, it's so shit! You'll see it though, you'll see it. <laughs> Ooh, hiccups. So we are going to do some glitching when I record the video too, which is so awesome. I'm uncertain that what I am watching right now is what is actually happening on camera. Here we go! <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm doing post commentary, and for some reason the video just started to show me a different video entirely. Whatever just happened then was completely blind to me. I'm fairly certain I'm watching the right one now. The audio syncs up. See, there we go. We've accidentally shot a butterfly, um, a bee. We got the butterfly, which we didn't need. But it doesn't matter because I think we're fairly near the end of this in World World now. So, um, that bee will just respawn. We probably won't uh, lose a lot of air. Uh, Experience-ness and greatness and shoot the basket. Shoot the baskets. Awesome. I think these are the gems that will still be there on the way back. I think the only gems that are new when you go on the way back are the ninja respawning boxes. I absolutely despise those ones with the guns. They are so annoying. It's where strafing comes in handy. I don't think I do much of it in this level though. But um, the turning is very deliberate because you can't control the camera. It's basically just a first person perspective. And then left and right you turn around. But strafing you just kind of move horizontally rather than spin around. So it's much easier. But you know, it's a very it's a handy piece of c controlling that you should use more of the gamer. I knew he was gonna be there. So we can pick up our first egg. And we have little Patty. Hello, Patty. So cute. Oh no, Handel! Never mind laughing evil Rhinoch, we are going to get you. So now shit gets a bit tricky. But this is what I want to show you. This egg was called You're Doomed, and the next one is called You're Still Doomed, and that is a no actually a nod to the game Doom that was released on several platforms in the old days, in the olden days <laughs> of 16-bit graphics. I don't know, I don't know that much about that era, because I was barely born. But I think it was released on PC, and um, and it was released on Jaguar, and uh, SNES. And probably some other shit too. Probably some other shit. I don't know. Just watch AVGN. He like knows everything ever. So that was that was an example of strafing when unnecessary. <laughs> strafing when the needs not be. Strafing here would have been handy. There we go. <laughs> or not because I got hit anyway. These stupid gun bastards. I hate that. What I also find really irritating is the doors keep closing when you move back. And that's, this is what I mean, this is what glitching happens, this is what happens and... What? Cheap asshole! Things appear to be through the wall even though they're not. So you can't shoot them. And this is what happens when the glitch happens. Is you can see them through the wall, but you can't shoot them because they're on the other side of the wall. But they can shoot through the wall anyway, and it's really annoying. But yeah, this is what I find particularly annoying, is if you move backwards, the door will shut. <laughs> I really hate that, for some reason. I think it's because it kind of just blocks off the action, you keep having to move back to move away from the enemies that are coming towards you. But when you do that, the door closes. You have to inch forward again to open the door, but you know there's going to be an enemy right on the other side of the door. It's really annoying. But like I said, like this is what I show you, the bee has respawned. The bee that we accidentally got, because we are now doing the second egg on You're Still Doomed. I really like that nod, I think it's really cool. One of the first first person shooters. One of the first good first I don't know. I'm not big on the first person shooter genre in general. <laughs> I'm like a left for dead kind of person. And <laughs> that's about it. Well you can zoom in! What have we been doing this? This whole like area? We've been zooming in. 
is not been happening. Never mind. But these are really annoying bits as well. You gotta really take your time and be slow. Don't rush into things because you'll just end up losing your health. And maybe like move, move forward, shoot a Rhinoc, and then maybe try and get a shoot on the uh, the box, the ninja box, because these ones around the corner are really annoying to get to. Now this is the particularly tricky area where we're gonna have it cut eventually because. I am here for ages because there's three ninja boxes in this room and three lots of respawning ninjas are constantly coming at me from every bloody angle. It's really quite annoying <laughs> and you gotta try and just take your time and wait for a gap in the ninjas so you can try and take a stab at one of the boxes. There's one immediately on the right on the, on the by the door. There's one in that alcove there that you can see and one in the far left alcove at the very end as well. There's one in the ninja boxes. Did I do, do a cut? Was that quite seamless? Because I'm pretty sure there's meant to be a cut there that I didn't notice at all. Was that seamlessness like on a whole new level? level? This is pretty awesome. So we've got one ninja box down. And I think that once you've got that one on the right done, it's quite a lot easier because you don't have ninjas coming from the right at you anymore. So you can concentrate on getting these ones on the left. And once you've got this one on the immediate left, you can start, it's actually better to move forward I think because it's a really odd angle to have the box there. I've got it but I would um, recommend moving forward for that one. And also before you step into a room check the roofs because they'll have ninjas on the roofs and if you step forward the ninjas will fall down and try and attack you. So you can shoot them on the roofs before they've even started to attack you which is really cool. And that uh, saves you a bit of life as well. So we can go around now picking up the gems. Being awesome! Being awesome, but that is definitely the hardest room in this uh, in this whole egg hunt edge. It's definitely this one. <laughs> hiccups, hiccups, because I've just eaten pickled onion monster munch. Would you love some monster munch? Shoot some ninjas and collect all the gems. And that is the name of the game, guys. Is there a, a skill point in this? I know I don't get a skill point in this video. Which, if it isn't here, it'll be in the best episode. But you, whoa, you cheap ass hoe! I just shoot me as I walk through the door. How about that? Oh, this is the incident with the shooting through the walls. It's not him, but there's a guy who comes up against the wall here and starts shooting me through the walls. I do remember this. Not him. Where did you come from? Did you just fall down from the ceiling? Ninja box. I hate you. You are my enemy. Look, this guy. I can't shoot him, but he can shoot me through the walls, that's fair! That is so fair! Thank you, game! Here he comes around the wall now, even though I shot him square between the eyes, but it didn't count, because he was behind a wall! Well, why the fuck could I see him, then? How about that, game? Asshole! But yeah, I'm not, in general, not a big first-person shooter fan. Uh, my kind of skills lie with the platforming genre, and, uh... Pokemon. <laughs> I live with poke. I live for Pokemon. There we go. And this is the point where I want health. We actually don't have sparks anymore now. And um, this is where we have to go around and really deliberately pick up all the gems and be really careful because if we die now, we have to start this level again. And that little room with the three ninja boxes is such a pain in the ass that we are not going to do that. God kill our ninjas. Fell is saying this room is empty now. So now we've got to be very careful because this last room is a complete onslaught of enemies. And ninja boxes. See there's three guys with guns that just run away from them. <laughs> and the two ninjas, two ninja boxes. I'm fairly certain that the skill point is on the roof in this room. Like, it's like a, oh not in this room first room. There's a room somewhere where there's like a switch on the ceiling I think that might be the skill point. Oh I have dreamt that up and that is also a likely option. That we had a dream it became a reality in my mind. Now we got the ninja box on the left on the right you can start concentrating on moving over to the left and getting this ninja box here. Because they are so annoying. That's okay because we got them. We can deliberately pick up more gems. <laughs> Deliberately. Is this all them? We have them all, guys! Just one egg to go and we finish with this dreadful level. I'm coming to get your handle! How did he not die then? 
Thanks for rescuing me. You better look after this egg before the Whinox try to blow that up too. They already tried to blow one up. I watched it happen. Hello, Donovan. Hello, Donovan. They shot it off in a friggin' rocket. In a rocket. Right. Let's leave. Let's go before we die of anger. <laughs> and no sparks. We die of anger and having no sparks. So next time on Let's Play Sparrow Year of the Dragon, we're going to completely finish up in this world and do the sparks level too. So I'll see you then, guys. Goodbye. Bye.